Smile and learn. Hi, friends. Today we're going to see how to classify animals by their reproduction. I'm sure you already know that chicks are born from eggs, and puppies grow in their mother's wombs. Do you want to learn about the different ways animals reproduce? Let's dive right in. As you probably already know, animals have babies similar to themselves through reproduction. There are two types of reproduction, asexual and sexual reproduction. Only a few animal species produce in this way. It involves only one parent, and they do not have special reproductive organs. Asexual organisms can make identical copies of themselves when they become adults. An example is jellyfish or sea sponges. Yes, you heard that right. Sea sponges are animals. Although many years ago, people thought they were plants. Sexual reproduction is most common in animals. It involves two parents, a male and a female, and their young will look like them. We can classify animals into three groups according to their type of sexual reproduction: oviparous, viviparous. And ovoviviparous. Let's discover them. Oviparous. Oviparous animals hatch from an egg. Can you give me an example of an oviparous animal? I'll help you. Birds, like ducks, are oviparous. Most reptiles are oviparous, like this chameleon. What a cool animal! Fish are also oviparous. Did you know that a fish can lay up to 500 eggs at one time? It's amazing! And oh, I forgot! Insects are oviparous too! Yeek! Viviparous. The babies of viviparous animals grow in their mother's wombs. Then, the mothers give birth to them. What animals are viviparous? Almost all mammals, including us humans, since we grow in our mother's wombs and are born from them. Dogs and cats are also examples of viviparous animals. Do you know how many puppies a female dog can give birth to? Up to 24 puppies in the same litter. Ovoviviparous. There aren't many animals with ovoviviparous reproduction. Their embryos develop inside an egg, which grows inside the mother's womb. They're like a mix of viviparous and oviparous animals. Do you know any examples of ovoviviparous animals? The most famous are some sharks, snakes, and the platypus. What interesting animals! That's all for today, friends. From now on, you'll know how to classify the different animals by their type of reproduction. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.